Union Journal. I'm Greg Falcon. And I'm Jeannie Hingson. Europe's political union is on the line yet again. The Maastricht Treaty was once hailed as a step towards the United States of Europe. But the treaty that spells out political and economic union for the 12 members of the European community has had to want to be. To take effect, the treaty must be approved by all EC members. European leaders met in Edinburgh last December and accepted changes to the treaty, hoping to persuade the Danes to approve it. The changes would exempt Denmark from taking part in monetary union and a pan-European army. As Peter Morello reports, once again, tiny Denmark is playing a big role in deciding the fate of a united Europe. While most of the EC is worrying about the fate of the Maastricht Treaty, Austria is wondering if it's even going to make it into the club at all. Austrian delegates headed off to Brussels in January to hammer out the details of membership. There are several points on the table, like environmental standards, banking, and transit routes. But as Laura Zonka reports, farming is likely to be the stumbling block to Western Europe, Eastern Europe could join the big league. Well, Europeans may be worried about the growing bureaucracy in Brussels, but the bureaucrats in Brussels are worried about the huge corruption scandal in Italy. It's a widespread scandal not just confined to Italy's high-powered politicians. Steve Smith reports from one town, North... And when European Journal continues, we go wine tasting on the Rhine. And this week's Euroview. Will Russians along Serbian front lines hinder peace talks there? But first, these facts about Europe. Yes, Parliament, leaders of Parliament. President Clinton in the United States is under a lot of pressure to do something in Bosnia. What's the pressure like for Boris Yeltsin? There is pressure, as I just but to abstain in the UN Security Council or even to veto any military action. But you got a little more strength now, right? Perhaps a group of European high school students can teach bureaucrats in Brussels a thing or two about unity. Well, new... No. Happy drinking. Next on European Journal, browsing for books in Paris. Once a booming business, book buying on the Seine just isn't what it used to be. That's when we come back, but first let's take a look at the European calendar. Stay with us. A beloved Parisian pastime is about to come to an end. As Chris Wright reports, book browsing along the Seine is in its final chapter. Well, next week on European Journal, Holland's elderly talk about rigors will be sunk. That's next week on European Journal. Well, this week spring has sprung in more ways than one, and that's how we're going to end the show. Thanks for joining us here at European Journal, and we'll see you again next week. So long.